Hi, my name is Leyla Seval Selikaya and I'm a first year physics major in Kent University. Today I present my physics 101 lab project. The aim of this experiment is calculating the rotational kinetic energy on inclined plane. To better understand my project, I will introduce my equipments. This is a list of equipments I will use for this experiment. First, I need an inclined plane which has a slope of 1 over square root of 3 and length of 1 meter, which makes its angle 30 degrees. The object I will use for this experiment is a cylinder. After that, I need a stopwatch to keep the time. And also, I need a vernier caliper and a ruler to measure the dimensions of cylinder. Finally, I need a balance to measure the mass of the cylinder for the calculating the inertia of the cylinder. To do the experiment, first, I need to adjust the slope of the inclined plane. The length of the inclined plane is 1 meter. To make the slope 1 over square root of 3, I need to adjust opposite edge to 0 0.5 meters. This is the cylinder I will use for this experiment. It has a 3 cm radius, which it makes 0 0.03 meters. And also, it has a mass of 0 0.2 kilograms. Here you can see my setup. And what do I do? I repeat it a few times to obtain the best results. To do the experiment, I drop the object top of the plane. Also, I keep the time. As it can be understood, I have the information of total distance taken and the time passes. Because the object moves with constant acceleration, I am able to calculate average velocity and average angular velocity by using the relation between angular velocity and tangential velocity. After measuring the mass, and radius of the object, I am able to calculate the inertia of the cylinder, so that, using the relevant equations, rotational kinetic energy can be calculated. Also, you can see that by looking at the chart, total initial energy could not be completely converted to the total kinetic energy, because work done by friction didn't completely convert to the rotational energy. This caused some part of potential energy convert to the internal energies.